think it'll be, I mean, it's all football, but I think I grew up going to SEC games and playing the S and watching the SEC. Um, I think it's going to be a big difference. Gonna be, the crowds are going to be more into it. Um, it's, a, it's a competitive game every week. So I'm excited for the challenge, and I can't wait to uh, play in these games. Talk to some of those other SEC quarterbacks since you've been here. Yeah, yeah, good guys. Um, obviously, growing up, just going to LSU, Ole Miss games, Alabama. So I can't wait to be a part of it. How many years have you been you been illegally. <laughs> That's this is probably my seventh or eighth year here. What's what's so nice about it for you? What's special about it? Well, I think the cool thing for me um, specifically is it's kind of just a family reunion. We all get together and kind of coming back every year in Thibodeau, Louisiana. You can't be beat. Yeah, yeah, and you get to spend time with your uncles probably. Exactly. Yeah. How often do you get to see them anymore? I mean, is it difficult because um, you're all scheduled? Yeah, yeah, we'll probably see them like three or four times a year. So yeah. we'll still get we'll still get it in. We went on a golf trip earlier in May. Um, it was me and my brother, or me and Eli versus my brother and Peyton. They beat up on us. It was fun. <laughs> I mean, to go from being one of the young guys out here to now being one of the about to be SEC quarterbacks, it's, it's kind of passing it on to the to the next generation. What is that like when you think back to your first Manning experience to to now being one of these guys that we're all in front of with a mic? Yeah, it's weird. I was just a camper a few years ago, looking up to these college quarterbacks. So it's uh, it's very cool being in this situation, um, getting to know other college quarterbacks and, and giving back and giving my wisdom to other younger quarterbacks. It's, it's been an awesome experience so far. Uh, I'm excited for the rest of the weekend. What have been the biggest challenges, learning experiences, whatnot, of being a, a high-level college quarterback at this point in the last year? Yeah, I think you just got to um, balance everything, whether it's class or preparation for games, um, social life. You just got to um, – you're on your own away from your family and friends from hometown, so just balance and everything. I asked uh, your uncle uh, Peyton about the generations just here. It's cool to see, like, you know, your, your grandpa, your grandfather starts it. Um, you've got you here as a, as a camp counselor. You've got, you know, Peyton's son is, you know, yeah. part of how cool is that just to see that, you know, over the 20 years of the longevity of this camp and, and you all being involved in it? Yeah, it's a lot, it's a, there's a lot of moving parts. I'm, I'm surprised it runs so well. Um, but it's cool. It's like a family reunion every year. Um, get to spend time with everyone in Timida. It's just a, it's just an awesome thing. And I, I look up to grandfather and uncles. And it's cool that uh, just keep having some football players. Hopefully Marshall um, is can, can play too. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, and, and apologize if this has already been asked, but for you, just kind of going into second year in Texas, kind of what are your expectations, goals, things that you should kind of get done as you're as you're moving into the, into the fall? I'm just trying to. Um, execute um, the offense better every day and, and get better at one thing each day and, and stay ready because anything can happen and I don't want to um, come in and not know what I'm doing. I want to be ready to, um, to play at any given moment. Does it help having that the spring game that you had to kind of be like, hey, this is a good jumping point to kind of really kind of springboard into this season? Yeah, it was good to feel, um, feel like you're in a game in the spring, game-like scenario with the crowd there. So that was fun getting to put some drives together um, and emulate a game a little bit. Good seeing you again. Actually. Nice seeing you. Mm -hmm. Texas has made a, a big point to recruit some more Louisiana guys the last few cycles. They just got another commitment about a month ago, I guess. How much, when those guys come visit, are they leaning on like you or Derek or, or any other Louisiana guys to kind of talk about your experience or, or pitch them on coming to be a part of it? Yeah, uh, obviously it's hard to steal them from LSU, but uh, whenever we got some Louisiana recruits, Derek and I will, will, will hang around them on the visits and try and, and, and pitch the idea of Texas. Um, we have a commit from Calvary, James Simon, who I was with last weekend. So just trying to get, get some good athletes. Louisiana always produces good athletes, so we're trying to get as many as we can. The guy that followed your footsteps at, at Newman, what's the relationship been like the last several years now with, with Eli and what's kind of been your message to him when you were leaving or, or still now kind of passing on? to him to, I mean, to hold up high expectations there and deal with his recruiting process and all of those things. Yeah, Eli, he, he's a dog. He's a really good player, two-sport athlete, and he can run around on the field. So, And he's such a great guy. He's committed to Princeton. Uh, my advice is him just, just have fun, enjoy high school. Uh, I think they're going to have a good year. They had a good year last year. So I'm excited for him. Um, he's got a, a great future ahead of him.